Hello everyone. In this short video, I want to talk about a very strange phenomenon. I'm embarrassed to say I've only noticed for the first time in my life after using Cubase for something like 25 years or so. This morning, I've got this error message when I've opened up my big orchestral template. Now, I usually have a bad habit of ignoring these sort of messages, just swapping them off, you know. But I've decided to read it and listen to what it says. Ramps slash curves are not supported on tracks that are set to MIDI channel any. Now that's a big problem. I'm very glad I've decided to read this because my orchestral template that uses Vienna Ensemble on two computers transmits on any because I want to communicate, you know, with different instruments within the same contact instance remotely controlled by Vienna um, Ensemble. So, I've decided to check this. This is a flute, obviously. A long flute note. And here is the dynamic CC1 curve, which is totally linear. It only uses two dots, one in the beginning and one in the end. And in the middle of it, we have the node, which controls the tension, the ballistics. So, right now, I will put the channel on any. In my remote session in Vienna, it looks like this. This is Berlin Woodwinds flute. And you can see that if I open up contact, it hosts five different instruments within this multi. And that was the reason I wanted it to be set to all this instance so I can communicate with each and every one of them. Listen to the curve. Exactly. It's not working. Oops. But watch what happens when I decide to listen to what this error message had to say. Let's put it on channel one. You heard that zipper effect in the middle? Yeah, it's not here on the second run. It usually takes care of itself. And this is uh, obviously a very important piece of information. So what can I do about it if I still want to communicate with a remote session in Vienna and uh, choose different instruments? Well, luckily enough, Cubis Expression Map seemed to bypass this problem because my map is built in this way that the different articulations communicate with different MIDI channels and different key switches. These are complex expression maps. So I was afraid that if I'll put the MIDI channel in the routing here to one, it will ignore the expression map commands and switch all the output MIDI channels from the expression map to only channel one. Let's select trill. And the trill is not on channel one. You can see it if I'll put it like this. Oh, it is on channel one. So let's take an articulation which is not on channel one. Let's take Sforzato. Yes, this one is on channel two. And it's obviously working. See? So apparently the expression map comes after this group and channel selection here. And make sure that the articulation is received correctly on the other side. So bear in mind, if you put your output MIDI channel in the routing on any, your curves will not be effective at all. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you do, click the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.